Are you struggling with bringing deep, dark black areas, deep contrast or depth into your animal portraits with pastels? Today I show you three different amazing blacks I'm using in my animal portraits and that are deep dark black, blacker than pastel pencils ever can be. So let's start! Before we dive into these blacks, I invite you to join my free Animal Art Week. It's a five days drawing experience online where we will draw a sweet squirrel, a dog's eye and you also get a beautiful butterfly to draw. Join us! I, am, I would love to see you there. You can find the link below in the description. I want to show you here some deep dark blacks that are very helpful in drawing realistic animal portraits with pastels. You can create very deep dark black areas with them, blacker than the pastel pencils are. This is a first the Rembrandt soft pastel stick. It's from a company Royal Talents, the black soft pastel stick. It's a very deep dark black and I like to use this for uh, lighter black areas in animal portraits and then the second one I really love to use is the pit charcoal the hard version it's from, from Faber Castell this is a pencil a charcoal pencil and uh, I use the hard version there is also a medium and a soft version available I use this one for drawing deep dark black hairs and strokes and smaller areas because you can sharpen this this is a pencil and you can use it for drawing fine lines because it's the harder version and this is blacker than the pit pastel pencil for example and then what's also is working really well are these creta color graphite 6b leads these are leads um, Graphite Mine 6B, they, you can purchase them here in so uh, packages and uh, you have to place them in a holder, in a lead holder. I use this Koinor here and then you can, you can also sharpen this either with a sharpener, so I use here this sharpener and sharpen the front part or you use a knife. And then you can also draw lines or areas. I will show you how they are working. So these are some very deep dark blacks and you can use them in addition to your pastel pencils to bring in more depth and contrast into your portraits. For example, when you use here the pit pastel pencil from Faber Castell, the black, and draw here, uh, let's say we draw here a black um, area with the pit and then blend this with a cotton swab. I blend this with a cotton swab and then it's it looks black. When you use it, I always uh, work with the black pit pastel pencil in my lessons inside of Animal Art Club, my drawing membership. For the beginners it's totally fine but when you are then further advanced or would like to um, improve your drawing drawings a bit more and then you, you take the Rembrandt for example and compare this here. Uh, it's softer, of course, you have more pigment on the paper, but when you then blend this also really very well and remove pastel pigment that's loose on your paper and you compare these two, you see that there is really a, a, a difference in the color. So this is very deep, dark black. A beautiful black and the the pit pastel pencil here it looks more like anthracite a very dark gray when you now compare this here side by side I always blend a bit over it that it is not gritty and then you see here this is a little bit transparent but also when you go over with more color, make it more dense and add another layer, it looks when there is also a lot of pastel pigment on your portrait, 
more it's a black but not so deep black like the Rembrandt and when we then also use the pit charcoal and place this also so here below the pit pastel pencil and add here a nice layer with the charcoal from Faber Castell so I add here enough pigment so that the paper color is so disappear and then I blend it also with the cotton swab and then we see that this is also a nice deep black so in comparison with the pit pastel pencil it's a very deep dark black when we also use the Creta color the graphite this is um, the graphite lead 6b and place it here below this is also it's softer it's a bit more like the Rembrandt you have a lot of pigment here uh, quickly on your paper and um, yes it is working really more like a soft puzzle stick I would say but in lead um, lead form here and this is great you also see when I plot in the pigment I create such edges that you can then use easily for drawing fine lines so these leads are great so let's blend this also with the cotton swab and this is also a very deep dark black beautiful like base layer you can compare it here really with the Rembrandt stick and you it is in leads for soft um, pastel pigments are so really great um, you can use here for example the charcoal for drawing fine lines the hard version is really great to use you can also use this um, Creta color here for drawing fine lines. This is great. You can use these edges like a pencil. Yes, and the, the Rembrandt soft pastel stick is more for drawing base layers. Of course, you can also use the edges that appear when you're drawing and plotting in the layers. You can also use this with light pressure for lines and bringing lines into your pastel portraits. Of course, this is also possible. So um, also when you, for example, try the cappuccello and let's draw here a layer of the cappuccello for testing and uh, blend this. Let's do it now with the paper stamp and remove the color. I always try to remove the color that is too much on the portrait, that the paper is not saturated. And you compare this then, for example, with our Rembrandt. You see a really a huge difference and blend this really well. This is really dark, deep black, deeper black than the, the Caputello. Well, let's do it with the pit then here for comparison. This is a bit darker than the Caputello in my opinion, but also it looks grayish. It's a bit darker than the Caputello here, but also a bit grayish. Let's do this then again here with the the um, charcoal, the pit charcoal and compare it here and it's again deep but dark black so you see I always use the same pressure so I really press a lot here that I have enough pigment on it and then let's take uh, the the Creta Color Graphite 6B lead and this is even darker when we test it here than the charcoal. So this is nice for deep dark black underpaintings. But you have a lot of pigment on your paper. You see this is very soft and um, the color abrasion is very high so I have to remove and blend here a lot because I want to avoid 
saturation of the paper to early saturation of the paper, you know. So we have to be careful with this creta color. Otherwise, you would not be able to draw lines over it when you remove the pigment really very well. They are all working here to draw lines over it. So great. And you'll see the difference. The pastel pencils, they are lighter, more grayish. And these three blacks are very deep black. The Rembrandt and the Creta Color, they are very deep black. And the, the charcoal is a harder version, not so soft and beautiful for bringing in fine lines. I will show this to you now, uh, how I use the, uh, the pencil, the charcoal pencil. For example, when I have here a finished eye study and I have drawn this for a drawing lesson with uh, pit pastel pencils. But then um, if you have um, this, if you have this charcoal pit pastel pencil, the hard version, I take this and then I go in over the blacks or I start right away with that and you can really uh, darken down the black areas and bring in more contrast darken down here or the pupil bring in a deep a dark black here between the eyelashes for example and really increase depth by using these more dark deep black um, tools pencil soft pastel sticks so bringing in here really deep dark black or Adding here more black fine lines. This is really working very well here with this charcoal pencil when you here draw so fine black lines into the fur and make it deeper, bring in more depth, uh, increase the contrast by bringing in deep dark black lines. Also here, let's draw some more black line so downwards you see what a difference this is making or here with this eye study let's plot in a bit of the black Rembrandt soft pastel stick here on this area on the the left or in the inner eye corner I plot in a bit of pigment in this case and then take a paper stamp and so blend it over this area. Of course, you cannot draw so fine and detailed with, with the sticks, but I apply a bit of the Rembrandt pigment and then blend it here into the surrounded areas and make everything here darker. Increase the contrast. Here I would need then uh, also a pencil so let's try our creta color and add so fine fluffy details with the black with the creta color for example here bringing fine details here into the white fur again and also so here downwards around around uh, the inner eye corner. Let's darken down the pupil. We'll draw carefully along the eyelid here and bring in a bit more black. Or we'll also add here fine black lines and increase the contrast again in this fur um, and eye here. As I study with the fur around of this blue cat eye. So you can make it really more contrast and depth. This is also an animal portrait inside of Animal Art Club, my drawing membership. I draw this with my students and here also I either, so when you just use pastel pencils for these deep dark black areas, or the eyes, you will not have such a nice contrast in your portraits. So either um, I use here the charcoal again, charcoal Faber-Castell, 
and draw over it and increase the contrast here or I use the Rembrandt soft pastel stick and really bring in very deep dark black in the larger areas and then always I blend it with the paper stamp. I have used this here already before but for example here on the ears we couldn't bring in again a bit more darker lines between so then I would use the charcoal pencil because it's so hard and it, you, you can easily so draw so fine lines I'll let here some more fluffy ha hairs overlap or here below some more fluffy hairs overlap or darken down the eyes and really make them deep dark black here or you darken down the nostrils or the, the part here on the trunk. So um, I highly, really, I highly can recommend to use either the pit charcoal hard version from Faber-Castell or the Rembrandt soft pastel stick from Royal Talents or these, um, I show you the, the box this Creta Color Graphite 6B leads and then you need a pencil holder here where you put it in. This is the Koinor. It's a nice pencil holder and you really can use these leads also for drawing fine lines. So I hope I could help you here to get some ideas so with what blacks you bring in more depth and contrast into your animal portraits. If you have any questions, write them below in the comments. I'm happy to answer and I hope I see you in Animal Art Week, my five days free drawing online workshop. You can find the link below in the description and then see you next time.